you've read it in the title. Today we are having another sound design battle between Serum and Vital. Now, this time, we are going to recreate the main lead synth in Biochemical from Martin Garrix. I've done my preparations and I made a Serum preset and a Vital, pre vital preset. I'm gonna leave these presets I made in this video in the description for you guys, so you can use them in your tracks. Stick around to the end, I'm gonna take you through step by step through these presets, what I did and why it sounds like this. For those of you who don't, don't know the song, song I'm, I'm gonna play, play it real quick. quick. It's from Martin Garrix and Seth Hills. <laughs> Let's start with Serum. I have two oscillators here. One with the Icon S kick wavetable and one with just a basic like saw. The Icon S kick unison of one and the saw a uh, unison of seven. So we get the width envelope like this. So we have the stabbiness. Do you know what I mean? I've also put that envelope on the filter. So we got this plucky feel. Some hyper so it's bigger. No dimension because I wanted to keep it tight. Some distortion and this is sine fold which is pretty harsh if you do it a lot. <laughs> But I put it on zero and put the envelope one again on the drive. That way it gets more attack from the distortion as well. Then a short delay, yeah, with basically no feedback, just for some depth, some multiband compression to make it even tighter. Some EQ where I took out the really lows because we don't need those and pushed up the mids somewhere I felt that was right. And after that, a filter around that frequency a bit higher than this one with a bit of resonance and a bit of drive. I've put that filter not all the way in so I adjusted the mix so it's like 50% in because I thought it sounded too harsh. The classic envelope 2 on the master tune so we have more attackiness through a fast pitch bend and the sub oscillator an octave up for a simple sine wave that one doesn't go into the filter so that we have something that makes the melody the whole way through if you know what I mean. And that's it already for Serum, actually. On the effects, I just put a little bit of Decapitator to beef it up even more. And Kickstart, just for some sidechain. And then we have this. Together with some simple drums, I didn't do anything with them. And now, I'm going to show you the same process, basically, with Vital. I tried to take the steps from Serum and in the beginning kind of copy them, but then try and just get as close to the original as possible. Here we have the uh, same process almost, just with some sawtooth waves. So we have one saw that has only one voice, one with seven unison and a bit of detune for that width again. A sine wave, an octave up, just like before. Oops, this isn't even on. Right, some white noise this time, because I thought it fits, makes a bit more attack to the sound. The envelope one controls the filter here. I'm gonna get to the other parts in envelope one in just a bit. Um, that's it for the oscillators. In the matrix, I also made the envelope two. So this short one on the voice transpose, that's basically the same thing as the master tune on Serum, so that it gets a bit more clickiness. Now in the effects, just chorus to make it bigger, compression, multiband, same thing as in Serum, basically. Delay, also same thing as in Serum. Just the mix knob a bit down, just for a bit of depth. Distortion, sine fold again. And I tried to recreate the same trick here with the envelope one on the drive again for more attack. Some EQ, where I took out the lows, boosted a bit of those mids and the highs. And with envelope one, I boosted the highs and mids so those two points with this envelope, so as you can see when it plays, they go up. I really don't know why, but I thought it lacked some high, uh, some highs. A filter, mix 50% as well, and that's it for vital as well. And then we have this. With drums. And yeah, I've ha I have this on the same effects chain as the Serum one, so we have the same decapitator and the same kickstart on this, so it's comparable. On the master's just a limiter, so in the recording it doesn't clip. Right, let's compare those two again. This is Serum. Really has this kind of nasal and high energy vibe to it, I would describe it. Is nasal the right... is it? Is that... A 
Is that a word? Yeah, it is. And I think I hit the frequency, like where boosted the mids, I hit that quite well. So it gets really close to the original. Now the Vita one is like really different, but it goes in the right direction as well. It seems like the Vita one is cleaner. I just think that the distortion from Vital acts a bit differently than the one from Serum. It sounds different, but also right, if you get what I mean. Wait, we can compare it with the original. So we have the Serum. And the original. You have to ignore all the background stuff in the original, because I didn't have time to make all of that. Gotta ask Martin Garrix how to do that. <laughs> now to, for Vital. Original. It got the same pluckiness and also really tight, but it lacks some of that, I think, high, crisp, nasally mid frequencies or something. I think in the last video where I did this, um, also Serum and Vital together sounded really cool. So if you play them together, maybe through that tight Vital layer, the Serum one gets even bigger. Together, they come really close to the orig original. <laughs> Maybe the Serum one is a bit too dirty, but is the sound really ever too dirty? You tell me. Right, that's it for me. Tell me in the comments which synth won, in your opinion. Leave me suggestions what I can remake this sound of next. Maybe you have some sounds that you want to have the preset of. We'll see each other next Friday. Oh wait, I've got a song today that came out just now. Um, it's called Lose It. And just click the link in the description to save it to your playlist. Listen to it and have fun with it, written by me and Motion. I'll see you next Friday. Goodbye.